Hey, grown folks, aka Lady D. <laughs> Donna Smith. I am so tongue twice sometimes with who I am, but I know who I am. But anyway, let's keep it 100. Let's get back on track. Let's just talk about what we need to talk about. Now, a thought that just came to mind is, you know, and I might have done a video on this before, but I'm going to expound on it a little bit more and uh, kind of get a little bit more deeper with it. But let's talk about temptation. You know, now I'm not talking about temptation like um, the temptations, you know, Motown. I'm not talking about them. I'm not talking about temptations such as, you know, being tempted for a particular meal or dessert or, you know, to do some things that perhaps you shouldn't be doing. I'm talking about that down, real, grown folk temptation. You know, perhaps it's somebody that you are desiring, that you want to get with, that you want to taste, touch, feel. And I know this is not right, but they're with somebody, they're in something, but you want them. And no matter how much you try to dismiss in the moment that, uh-uh-uh, no, no, no. Can't do it, shouldn't do it, wouldn't want to do it, but it keeps calling you. I mean, you think of that person during the day, at night. You fantasize about certain things that you two could do together and for each other. And, you know, you're, you're sexually attracted to them, their voice, their, their look, their demeanor, their smarts, everything. You're just attracted. Now, what do you do? I mean, what do you do when you get caught up like that? And you are tempted. Temptation is a mother. Now, some will say we pray about it and we back away from it and we leave that thought and dismiss it. And, and prayer always works. You're right. It does. But we know that the flesh is weak. And we know that sometimes, even though we are with someone that's great, that's good, that's on point that we would die for. We still get tempted sometime to try another. Now, if I'm wrong about this, or if it's some of you out there who have never ever felt that with um, another when you was with someone and really loving them. Because see, some people say, if you really are in love and you really are, you know, feeling the person you're with, you're not even going to think about another. But at the same time, you're human. And it's going to always be a fleshly body that swoops by you that may smell or look better. Or it's going to be something that is going to make you go, hmm, boy, if I was single, woo we? So are we wrong when we do that? And how do we fight? The urge of temptation. And I want to go a little deeper with that. You know, there are some who are engaged to be married. Now, they have not taken the leap yet. They have not dived in and said the vows before God and others. They are engaged. They have slipped the ring on. They are planning. They're talking about it. Um, but anything can happen. An engagement is just an engagement, right? Or do some of you guys feel that that's a commitment all in itself? Once you say you want to marry someone, it's just like being married. You should be faithful. But what about temptation? Temptation, and you haven't said I do yet. Or temptation when you are in a situation where you have grown apart from that person and you're no longer connected, but you're feeling temptation by another. Or perhaps you're with someone that you love and, and everything, but, you know, as time has went on, you've just had these problems and this shaky ground. And even though you haven't really outgrown them, you're just not connected anymore. So that temptation creeps in. What do you think about that, grown folks? Is that okay? Is it normal? Is something wrong with you if you're being tempted?
And how do you diffuse that? How do you turn that heat down when it starts to elevate? Do you start to focus more on the one that you're with? Do you start to, you know, do more with them and for them to try to take your mind off of that? Because sometimes you could do that and still be thinking about that other person. Ooh, we. Yeah. Let me hear what you got to say about this, because this is a hot one. It's real, and it happens all the time. So I want to know, how would you handle temptation? <laughs>